Day one. <clears throat> Just got on my tent. I pretty much froze my butt off all night. Everything's all frosty. Every time I hit my tent on the inside, it like starts snowing on me. It was pretty cold, but my sleeping bag kept me pretty warm for the most part. There's been ducks flying over me all morning. I've been hearing golden eyes and harlequin and all kinds of crazy stuff out here. I'm pretty much all packed up. I'm just going to fill up my water bottles, fill up my iodine tablets, and start heading up that mountain right there and see if I can kill a deer today. One right there. Another one right there. It doesn't look like everything I find is about three quarters of the way up the mountain. So, hunting strategy tomorrow. I'm gonna get up early and scale the back of that mountain. Just about to the top of the snow is another glass down and try to drop on something. Which is like the farthest away from camp. Right, right there. There it is. Another Spencer's deer. It's definitely one he can go for it. Ten miles up the mountain. So only five hundred yards away. To do. See, you like prime hunting hours is around ten o'clock. As soon as the sun starts to hit the side of this mountain, everything wakes up out of the cold and come out and get something to eat. A couple of days, only 300 yards. About a 503 yard shot, so it's not happening. Looks like move up closer. Got him, got him. Just went down. <clears throat> Just killed my first sick of blacktail. It looks like a pretty decent one too. And got him right there in the heart. Or at least I've lunged him. About 200 yard shot or so. There's a group of like five or six. Hopefully I got some of it on video. But. I was watching my binoculars, saw him run around a little bit, and he just went down. I'm just going to wait a couple more minutes before I head in there, and then we'll go out there and check him out. It'll work for one day. I'll just stick to my one deer for now. Maybe I'll get him tomorrow after I do all the work. Well, here's the two bucks that are fighting over the does. <coughs> With the big buck that I just killed. Four 
probably kill both of them with one shot right now. <laughs> oh no. That was ridiculous. They all have to see me. The sun's shining right on me. I'm like right in the open. I got right there. Jeez. Well, that doe is standing there about 15 yards. Decided to walk forward a little bit. She had a little baby with her. And then a buck followed her. Just dropped it in one shot. <coughs> Open the Kodiak Island. And it's where deer dreams come true. I'm a pilot. There's a cabin right here. Probably a little fish stuff every year or something like that come out here. But if I ever get any kind of danger or something like that, I can always go there and use it. Since I'm all alone out here. This is the area I'm hunting. Right down here, my camp's right at the end of the side of that hill. I'm literally right in my backyard. Just killing deer after deer. It's ridiculous. That deer just walked up 15 yards away from me. Took one shot, dropped it instantly. And I killed my first deer right down here. And I just walked up a hill and killed another one. There you go, there's deer number two. Doing good so far. This is the first morning. I've been hunting about two hours or so. Could have killed a lot more. But this is the one I've been looking for. Something just like this. This is perfect. Let's get this taken care of. Alright, I just finished packing my second deer off the mountain. Just got down. I finished cleaning up the first one now. And then we'll get it back to camp. That's so far. Two full deer all chopped up. I'm gonna try to carry it all, but chances are I'm probably not gonna be able to do it, and then I put it back down. Then carry it half and half, and then come back for my deer over there. Walking back with the first deer. It's a lot heavier than I thought it was gonna be. Luckily, grizzly bears leave these little trails everywhere. You just kind of follow them around. Second deer back to camp. I think that walk gets a little bit easier each time. Doesn't mean I want to do it again. But... Got back and carrying that deer. It's time for dinner. And my view. So. 
Well, that's into day one. <laughs> a lot of action. Killed two deer. Sitting in my camp, and I can now glass the side of the mountain and spot a hundred more deer. There you everywhere. Tomorrow I'll be all about trying to find the big one, I guess. Well, last night my dad had a pretty good question. He was asking me about how I was storing my meat out here. He was telling me to hang it up in a tree and stuff, but I found these two metal containers sitting on the shore I think the fishing gang uses. Nicely stacked in there on top of some alders. Try to leave space between each one of them so they get some good airflow. They're nice and solid tonight. Another nice warm morning out here in Kodiak Island. It doesn't even snow here, it just gets so cold that it builds up like snow on everything. All the frost and stuff is just super thick. <clears throat> the whole tent froze over. I'm froze over. My boots feel like I'm wearing two bricks of ice cubes. Frozen solid like concrete. <clears throat> Besides that, it's a beautiful one. <laughs> Ready to go check out my meat and everything like that and make sure no bears got to it. up the mountain and see if you can find some deer again. I think it's safe to consider that today is a successful hunt. Mm. <laughs>